Hello guys and welcome back. Today is March 12th and this will be our 35th vlog. We played a pretty long session over the weekend, the past weekend, and it has been spring break so we haven't had any chance to put in any more sessions since then. So let's go over the reports for the or now. Today we have played up to date, we have played 383 hours and have won a little bit over $20,000 now. Our session win rate is at 58%, winning 21 out of 36 sessions for an hourly rate of a little bit over $52 per hour. Our numbers are starting to pan out to where we expect it to be. So uh, we'll see how things go for the rest of this month and go from there. So let's go into a uh, hand history for a little bit. Hey, this is my daughter. She's on spring break. So we'll be doing a, uh, the, we're gonna do the contemplation part with her as well. I heard you talking. Mm -hmm. Wait, are you talking about poker? Yes, I am. Oh, I thought you were talking about poker. No. So let's go to uh, the first, the one hand history that might be interesting. It's not that big of a pot, but it has some uh, educational value to it. Let's see, the effective stack is $500. It goes, it has two limpers, and it comes to me, and I have a king six offsuit, and I limp also, because one of the limpers is a weak player, and I wanted to get into pot with him. My cards didn't matter, it was, I was playing more of my position. Then the flop comes king six seven with two diamond draws and the pot is fifty dollars. And it gets checked to me. And this is a you could say a pretty dry is board in terms of things. So I went ahead and uh, just bet fifteen dollars to try to induce some kind of action. So I went ahead and bet fifty dollars into a fifty dollar pot. And the small blind, we'll call him Thinker. The small blind calls. Everybody else folds. So we go to the turn and the turn brings a blank five and the pot is now $80. So I go ahead and the thinker checks. I go ahead and bet $50 into the $80 pot now. And thinker thinks for a little bit and then he calls again. So we, nothing changes. His range could still be weak, could be a king, could be a six, could be any kind of pair plus combo draw now. So the turn, river comes a three, which is completes a four card straight now. And thinker checks. So now it's, it's thinking time, right? What do we put him on? Well, he could have a diamond draw. He could have a king. He could have a six. Seven. He can have any two pairs. He can have a straight. There's a lot of ranges here, right? But we got to think what thinker thinks here. If I was a thinker in this spot, if I hit my straight here, I would probably bet out because the button is ready, could have could have a lot of weak calling ranges here. Any king, any two pair that will call if I bet out here. If I have a straight, if I check, well. The original better probably check back a lot of his ranges here. So Thinker will probably bet out his straight. If he has a flush draw or anything, he might also bet out there to rep the straight and get uh get me to to fold any one pair kind of hand. So when he checks here, I think he's checking with a block um bluff catcher type of hand. So I went ahead and value bet for $65 as well, knowing that he could put me on a, a missed flush draw. He could call me with just any bottom pair or if he put me on a, any pair with a missed flush draw. He could have two pair here. Any a lot of two pair that made. So I think there's a lot of value here. And checking back, it would leave value on the table given that we already projected that he will bet if he had the straight. So I went to bed and he tank, 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 and he called. And uh, he, then he mucked, so I read was right. And this handle is important. I use it because we have to know our players. 
We have to know what they're capable of thinking and what they are thinking. And this player is a thinking player. Like I would not make, I would probably not make this type of bet against a non-thinking player because a non-thinking player would not be capable of making a hero call because this thinking, this is a thinking player that I know what he's thinking. I'm a step ahead of him, so I was able to extract a little bit more value, other that that I would otherwise not have had I not thought what he thought. That's the hand issue of the day. I will I already hit the gym already, so we'll do a little contemplation, drag my daughter into this and see what we could get out of her, make it a little bit of fun and go from there. See you in a bit. What's up guys and we are back and to for our contemplation and reflection part we have a guest appearance my daughter summer he made me come in the video i was making the bed and then he walked over and said hey let do, help do, me do, out do, help me <laughs> out all right so the topic of contemplation today we're going to talk about is focus do you know what a focus is summer <laughs> yeah uh, this is take two, so I, uh, he told me in the first round, but I forgot what focus was. Okay, focus is our ability to keep our mind on one thing for a long time. Let's go back before that. Our mind likes to attach itself to ideas and things. For example, that's why you get bored, it's because your mind has nothing to attach itself to. You need some kind of video, you need some kind of entertainment. You need to some kind of motion moving around to keep yourself entertained because you cannot hold still. So we're gonna do this practice for you. Remember, watch your breath, count your breath, see if you count to 100, in and out breathing to 100, or watching that part of the camera while I talk, okay? Do it for 100. I'm gonna say- I'm gonna check in on you. Every, I hey, did it! I'm gonna check in on you once while I'm talking. And ask you how many, what count, what your breath count is, and you'll be able to tell me, okay? So, our mind likes to attach itself to ideas and thoughts, things in the past, in the present, I mean, in the future. That's why we tend to lose focus and lose stress. And the more our mind runs around, the less we are have focus. How many breaths are you on right now, Summer? Twelve. Twelve. Okay. I'm losing focus. <laughs> it's hard to breathe when yes. someone's hey, talking. Maintain your focus on your breath. So, if we want to practice focus, then we need to try to find an object that we can keep our mind on for a while. And then we practice that and we practice that. And the longer we can do it, the more, you could say, stamina our mind has to, to remain attached to one thing. One of the things that we, say, we talked about was that meditation allows you to practice focus because what you, when you meditate, what, how many breaths are you at, Summer? 36. 36. When you're meditating, like what Summer is in essence doing, you're watching your breath. And as you're watching your breath, your mind is able to focus on that breath. And the focus on the breath is where it allows, we can always go back to it. We can always practice. What more is that when we're watching, focusing on our breath, our mind is no longer attached to an idea or a thought. How many breaths? 55. 55. If we're not attached to any ideas or thought, then our mind is not pulled into the past or into the future. It is in a state of observation, which is the state that it wants to be in. And that's where we find peace in everything and serenity is when we're able to observe. Focus on observation rather than focus on thinking. 
How many breaths are we on now? 73. 73. So as you can see, like, practice, training kids to practice their focus is very easy. And if a kid can do it, then we as adults can be able to do it too. And especially at the poker table, it's, it's an environment that is very slowed down so that we can actually practice this. Where are we at now? 96. All right. So tell, tell the audience how you feel right now. I'm in 200! So how do you feel? I feel regular. Feel regular. But what, do you, what we do notice is that right away her mind is, and her eyes are more still and is more able to listen and more observant. And that's where we want to get to. We want to practice that, be able to focus because the longer we can focus, the longer we're able to control ourselves, control our body, control our mind. I think that's it. I thank you for being part of the We had to show. take two rounds, so that yeah. equals seven minutes. I had to stand up for seven minutes, and then he 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 gave me a serious talk <laughs> after one round one, and then oh, okay. I I was too. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys next time.